So with the Swiss National Bank out of the way, opting to keep monetary policy unchanged, it's now time for the Bank of England. And in this case, expectations are for it too to keep its key rate unchanged. It's already at a record low, 0.1%. It has been a bit more receptive to negative rates, but expectations aren't for it to go into negative territory just yet. Where it is expected to make a change is when it comes to asset purchases. Expectations are for an increase in asset purchases of at least 100 billion pounds. And of course, it's got to address rising risks, whether it's last week's uh, GDP reading for the month of April, uh, great more than 20% contraction, as well as rising risks of a no-deal Brexit. So when it comes to technicals, really not that relevant in the face of a fundamental event. Yeah, the majority are neutral anyway. We do have a trending ADX, but overall pivot points usually in the short term expected to break, especially if, if the end result strays far from expectations. Now, what about trader sentiment? In this case, retail sentiment, retail traders holding a slight majority short bias, which is 51%, they're pretty much almost in the middle. And when we map it onto the chart, blue dotted line for retail sentiment, green dotted for COT sentiment, that red line is, is, is 50%. So when the dotted line, blue or red, green goes above, it means the majority long, below means the majority short. You can see that when it comes to retail traders, they've pretty much been going opposite the moves. And because the prices have retraced, it's gone in their favor. So when it went to 120s, going to majority long territory, unwinding those longs as it went up, going into majority short territory at the 127s, and coming and, and the prices have retraced back down. What about larger speculative traders? In this case, uh, they did shift from majority long to majority short back in April, uh, and it did reach a heavy short 70% a couple weeks ago. But last week, we did get a reduction in pound short positions by about 10,000 lots, increase in, in pound longs by about 2,000, taking the buys to a heavy 65%. Overall, both anticipating further downside buys.